what up, 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 what up? It's your boy Job Bear. Today's video is actually per request. I had one of the homies hit me up and said, bro, you be on live doing Bear all these so. live random videos. Can you actually sit down and, and do a video of how you set up your home studio? No problem, bro. I got you. I got you. So that's what we're gonna do today. Today we're gonna focus on how I set up my home studio. So y'all at home that have the bare minimum, y'all can get to work as fast as possible. Alright? So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, first things first. We got the laptop and the monitor going. It's connected with one of these joints. I don't even know what this is called. But I know the uh, the black wire, this is a VGA wire. Get your VGA wire, plug it into the back of your TV. Get this wire connected to your MacBook. It's uh, the one, one, two, third slot after the charging port. Plug it in there. All right. That's how you get the double display. If you got a TV where you got a, where it has Bluetooth and all of that fancy stuff, you got a smart TV, then I'll show you what to do. If you, cause I have two smart TVs that I use with my laptop as well. All right, if you have a smart TV, you see this? This is gonna pop up on your screen if everything is connected to the same network. You click this button, and then your TV will pop up. My second TV didn't pop up because it's probably off. But uh, our living room TV popped up. So that's how you do double display on Mac. All right, next thing for audio, get an interface. It's an Avid Fast Track Duo. I have my two Yamaha HS5s, this is the right side, this is the left side. Those are connected in the back of my Avid Fast Track Duo. And then I take my Avid Fast Track Duo, which powers on via USB, and I plug it in to my USB hub, just like that. And then, I take my Seagate, I don't even know where the USB port is, it fell somehow, so it's down on the floor, let me grab it, you can't see me, alright, this is the USB, it also has an actual power cable to plug in, plug in the power cable and then I gotta run it I'm sorry I'm putting my camera down make some adjustments plug-in is my Wacom tablet. This is for graphic design. That's the only reason I use it. Plugs in with USB and it's also Bluetooth. I like it better with USB. It, has, it gives less problems if you connect it directly. Alrighty. Boom. That's plugged in. And then I have my Machine Micro. Machine Micro come with one wire. USB. Plug in the USB for that. The USB hub. Boom. And it's on. I always showed you when I plugged it in, it lit up orange. This is the first one. This isn't the one that has all the different colored pads. These pads are all orange. 
So now that everything is connected, take the wire, USB for my USB hub, which also has a power adapter. And I plug it in to the USB to my computer. You see, Wacom tablet on, machine turned on. Let's go to my sound. Uh, updated my computer and I forgot to unplug the Fast Track Duo so it renamed it Zero Bandwidth. That is my Avid Fast Track Duo. And you see my hard drive plugged in.